buttons are crowding the marigolds, and I told you not to do that because they need their sunlight. I'm gonna have to mulch you guys again real soon. Now, the secret to making cut flowers last is snipping their stems underwater right when you're ready to use them. Sure do have a green thumb, Julie. Thank you, sir. These have to go to the infirmary. And those there go to the warden's office, and that one there goes to the warden's mother. And be sure to tell him that we're all praying that she's up on her feet again real soon, okay? Get moving, Grace. Go on. Um, I need some more vases to uh, make the arrangements for the visitor's room. Let's we'll see what we can do about that. Got to visit the shed, Phil. Open gate number two and number three. You got it, Frank. job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. Catch anything, huh? Excuse me, but this isn't about catching fish. You see, this is not why I do this. I thought that was the point. Well, it's not the point. You see, I do this so I can unwind, relax. Really? 
Yeah, take my mind off of things. That's what it's about. It's not about catching fish. I can see that. Here's our next catch. What you do, rip off a bake sale? Don't let her little Miss Muffet look fool you, my friend. Julie Seaton is a nasty piece of work. She wounded a prison guard when she broke out. What was she in for? She and a partner robbed the uh, payroll at a factory that she worked at. Bonnie and Clyde style? No, 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 slicker. A masked gunman held her hostage, threatening he was going to kill her unless the owner opened the safe. Don't tell me. Poor guy gave him everything he got and got shot anyway. How'd they know she was tied into it? Locals found some of the money in her car, but the bulk of the cash disappeared with her accomplice. And you know what? She never gave him up. So now she's come back for the big spin. Ah, great minds do think alike. This happened in Twin Falls. CHP just found a car that Julie stole near Fieldston. Fieldston? She's heading the right direction. Right. So I'll beat her to Twin Falls while you pick up her trail in Fieldston. We'll uh, do the old squeeze play. Anything else to go on? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Got a bite. Ah! Cross stitching. What? Fancy needlework. Warden said she had a passion for cross stitching. Sounds like a real Hellcat. It's too bad. Who the hell are you? You left your baby in the car. Hey, that's only in there a minute. That's no excuse. Children should never, ever, ever be left unattended. Shut up and get out of my car. And you know what? Not only that, but you don't have a locking clip on the baby seat. It's totally useless without a locking clip. Don't make me rough you up, all right, lady? I'll do it. You know what you're doing? You're endangering your child every time you drive. That's it. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that anymore. No, I'll pick up dinner on the way home. Oh, I forgot about practice. Tell Jerry I'm on my way. I'm leaving now. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Are you a Chief Turner? That's right. Bobby Six Killer, I'm a licensed bounty hunter. Here's my card. I was curious if uh, you had a few minutes. Well, look, I promised my boy I'd practice softball with him, so. It's about Julie Seaton. Well, you're going to earn your money chasing Julie. She's been trouble since the day she was born. My kind of girl. What can you tell me about her? Well, she started with the usual juvie stuff, you know, fighting, shoplifting. Most kids grow out of it, but not Julie. It's a long way from shoplifting armed robbery, huh? She's a quick learner. Did you ever bust her? <laughs> Once or twice. She'd start crying in front of the judge and swear it was all a mistake, and uh, he'd cut her loose. It's the best con artist I've ever seen. I doubt she'll head back here, though. Her partner's long gone with that money. Maybe, maybe not. Meaning? Well, meaning if she's smart enough to plan this whole thing, is she dumb enough to let the muscle walk with the loot? Sounds like you're going to be sticking around. Is that a problem, Chief? Only if you make it one. You play straight with me, I might even help you. Fair enough. So, got any ideas who this mystery man might be? Well, if you're right that this guy's still around here, I'd put my chips on a guy by the name of Clay Brighton. But well, watch yourself. He's no choir boy. Thank you very much. So you made it up to Twin Falls, huh? Any sign of our girl? Not yet, but the local law gave me a place to start. Clay Bright. An ex-con Julie used to run with. He's also a suspect in the robbery. You know Mike Turner, the police chief? 
told me to tail him just in case she shows up. What are you wearing a badge now? Pallets are best shot. In a town this size, Brighton could spot the cops, but me, I'm a new face. How are you doing? A woman matching Julie's description stole a car down here. Yeah, so what are you doing talking to me? I'll talk to you later. Bye. so nice to have a man in the shop. Have a cookie. Thank you. Are you looking for anything special? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. But it's kind of private. Oh, don't be embarrassed. We have plenty just like you. Excuse me? Well, lots of men love to cross-stitch. Look at Rosie Greer and the, and the man with the uh, muscles, Arnold Schwarzgruber. No, uh, I mean, actually, I'm looking for this woman. I hear she's into fancy needlework. Oh, my goodness. This couldn't be the same girl. Then you know her. She seems so nice, but armed and dangerous. Could anyone who does such beautiful cross-stitching be a... When was the last time you saw her? Just today. She had some things to sell. I bought one to mount as a pillow. Isn't it lovely? I offered to take the other two on consignment, but she said she couldn't wait. Ma'am, would you do me a favor and put together a list of other shops she might go to? Yes, sure. This is such a good idea. I can't remember the last time we just took off on vacation. Not since Jerry was born. You should do it more often. Yeah, we should. I love these spur-of-the-moment trips. Here we go. Relax, I'll make it go away. Turner. We'll handle it, Matt. I told you I'm off the clock. All right, I'm on my way. In fact, there's a situation I have to deal with. I'll unpack the bags. No, no, you will only take a few hours if I'm lucky. You and Jerry go ahead, and I'll follow you as soon as I can get away. You think? Yeah. Really? Go get checked in, and I'll be there for breakfast. OK. Be safe. You too. Sorry, right, brother. Bad timing, man. We also accept 20s and 50s. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just right over here. Just... Julie. Hand me the gun. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nice and slow. That a girl. Good. Now, get out of the car.
eat something. There's no telling where they're gonna feed you next. No. Come on. It's not doing you any good. Hi, right, two cheeseburgers and coffee, please. I don't need it. We're going on a hunger strike. Oh. Uh, well, now, what good is that gonna do? You're just gonna get yourself sick. You don't wanna be sick in prison. Do you care? You're the one that's taking me back. That's my job. Save the health care tips. I have to go to the bathroom. Looks safe enough. Food's getting cold. No! 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 no. no. Come on, calm no. down now. No. Calm down. No! Ah. Let's talk about it. That's great news, Bobby. Great news. <laughs> Did she come from Brighton? No, actually, an operative of mine nailed her right outside of Preston. She's coming this way, all right. Yeah. Your operative must have a sixth sense about fugitives. Well, I guess you could say that. He's going to bring her here this evening. 25,000 bounty for two days' work. Not bad. Well, they're not all this easy, Chief. You sure make it look that way. If you ever need a partner, let me know. I will. Thank you. Guards burned you with cigarettes? Their favorite pastime. They call it branding. They do worse. They do a whole lot worse. The one that I shot was trying to rape me. That's horrible. If you tell them who helped you in the robbery, I'm sure the judge will reduce your sentence. No, because no one would believe it. Well, try me. Well, it started when I was a kid. Go on. My mom, you know, she'd do anything to get drugs. She'd steal or sell herself. Some of the men that she brought home came after me instead, so, you know, I quit going home. Self-preservation? Yep. I mean, things were getting pretty out of control there. That's when I met the older guy. He was pretty nice. He's the one that got me the factory job. And he got himself a partner on the inside. It's pretty easy to see now, huh? Well, I can't help you unless you give me a name. It's Mike Turner. The chief of police? Well, he wasn't chief back then. <gasps> oh, now you see, I knew you wouldn't believe me. You know, that's why I never told, because it wouldn't have done me any good. Well, maybe it will now. Vince, he used me. You know, I was just a kid back then. I trusted him. Which is why you let him in after closing. Yes, he tricked me. Do you have anything to back this up? That's why I was going back to Twin Falls, because I'm pretty sure I know where Mike hid the gun that he used. Well, if it matches the prints and ballistics, it proves you're telling the truth. Will you please help me find it? Please? At least that way I'll be able to have a fair shot. <sighs> Six killer. You alone? Uh, I don't have that file at this time. Okay, well, get someplace you can talk. We got a problem. Well, you know, I think I left it in the car, so if you hold on, I'll uh, take a peek over there, okay? Let me know when you're clear. Another case. Be right back. All right, I'm alone now. Julie says her partner is Mike Turner. Well, that's bull, because this guy's cleaner than the Tidy Bowl man says he planned the whole robbery and shot the owner. And you believe her? Listen, pal, bounty hunting 101, fugitives lie. Not all of them. I'm not talking about you, partner. You know, I'm saying that Julie Seaton will say anything to stay out of prison. Look, she says she has proof, OK? I think we should check this out before I turn her over to him. She's a con artist, and you're the mark. If you're right, she goes to jail. But if you're wrong, I send an innocent woman into hell, and I'm not willing to do that. So I'm going to find out the truth before I turn her over. If we leave right now, 
So, uh, what do you want me to do with Chief Teflon here? You'll think of something. Bobby, just check him out. As long as it's your money. She's gone. What? Someone opened fire on us in Morro Bay. She took off while I was pinned down. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. The bike took a hit. Had to improvise to get it running. Well, maybe now you believe that she's lying. I mean, all this crap about her and Mike is just a stall until her partner can pick her up. Maybe the shooter was trying to kill her. Did you ever think of that, huh? Maybe Turner's afraid that she can implicate him. No way. He didn't even know where you were. He could have found out easy enough. Ugh. Why don't you just admit that Julie conned you? Maybe Turner's conning you. If you would have turned her in like I said, she'd be behind bars right now. Don't you think I know that? Now any damage she does is on my head. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. We just got to find her. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is I conned Julie's case files out of the county clerk. And the bad news? 7,000 pages long. Well, I'll start sifting. If you want to go sit on Clay Pigeon. Brighton. Whatever.
Yeah, Bobby. What do you want? He's going north out of town. You need a backstop? No, I got this covered. spot, isn't it? The thing I like about it is it's so quiet. There ain't nobody around for miles. Yeah, well, uh, sorry to bother you, friend, but you can see I'm lost. You know? Hell you are. You've been tailing me. Get out. Who are you? Look, I told you. I took a wrong turn around. Oh. Oh. You're a cop? Ugh. DEA? Let's hear it, man. No, I'm not DEA. Oh, I'm a bounty hunter. That's bogus. I ain't wanted. I'm looking for Julie Seaton. I heard she was hanging out at your joint. You okay, Bobby? Yeah. I can't believe this Creed got the drop on me. He's not as dumb as he looks. Oh, I don't know if that's humanly possible. What'd you do, follow me out here? No, I got a tip a drug deal was going down. We had this clearing staked out. Well, I owe you a big time. Ah! Come on, I'll drive you into town. Take it easy. You gonna make it? Yeah. Oh. Here you go. Thanks. So why don't you go ahead and tell me about this information you dug up. Well, you're not gonna like it much. Yeah, it'd be hard for this day to get any worse, so why don't you go ahead and hit me? The chief lied to you about his relationship with Julie. Oh, man, not this again. Come on. No, now hear me out. He didn't bust her just once or twice. He's all over her sheet. Turner protected her. Even got other cops to drop charges. You can read it off yourself. <sighs> One more thing. There's talk that Turner forced Julie to sleep with him as payback. Talk from who? You mean like uh, junkies and dirtbags? No, people in his own department. And there's hardly any mention of Clay Brighton in there. You'd think if him and Julie were tight, he'd be all over that. Yeah, and Brighton didn't seem to know who she was. Could have been lying. Well, why should he be any different than anybody else in this town? I knew this would catch up with me someday. Well, why don't you take a load off and tell us the whole story? I didn't force her. She came on to me. Julie was always trying to buy her way out of trouble with sex. This before or after you were married? My wife and I were, were having problems, you know? So you took Julie up on her offer? It's a big mistake. Right away, she started asking for favors. Charges dropped. I cut her off as soon as I could. After you lined up the job for her at the factory? I wanted to help Julie straighten herself up. She said you planned the whole robbery. No. But I knew she was going to do it. You knew? Right after she started working there, she talked about how easy of a place it'd be to hit. I read her the riot act. Threatened to bust her on the spot. Next thing I know, she did it. You never spoke up at the trial. I would have lost my job, my wife, my kid. I've spent every day of my life since then scared stiff someone was going to find this out. And trying to make up for it. To my family and to Twin Falls. Please remember that before you do anything. Hell, I don't know what to believe anymore. I've got a half a mind to bag this whole thing, walk away, no harm, no foul. Oh, well, yet. Julie's still a loose cannon. She was a loose cannon before you met her. No, I let her go. I gotta play this one out, Bobby. All right. I'll talk to you later. Yeah.
welcome home. You know, this should have been my home. In my room. In my bed. Our bed. I borrowed this from your wife. I hope that she doesn't mind. Yeah, we were in your car, and we were in the police garage, and my foot accidentally hits the oh, siren. God. And, of course, all the <laughs> lights are flashing, and all the cops came running we out. We told them we, we were looking for your contact lens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're going to be so happy. Where do you want to go? I hear New Zealand's nice. I bet we could live quite well on $300,000 there. Be even better for just one person. What do you mean? I want you to have all the money. I think it's only fair after what you've been through. You're not coming? I love you, Julie. I do. I've never loved anyone like I love you. Well, then that's all that matters, Mike. If it were just us, I'd leave with you and never look back. But I've got a kid now. I love him, too. He needs me. But I need you. Julie, you're strong. Really strong. You'll find somebody else and fall in love. No, I won't. Yes, you will. <laughs> You'll start a new life. Take that money you've got hidden behind you. Oh. Real bad sign how overcrowded our jails are. Ah! When scum like you make bail. The hell you on? Maybe you got some influential friends, huh, pal? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Ah! Wrong answer. Hey! Turner told you about me, didn't he? No. Oh. Nice windshield. Okay, okay. What did he say? He, he tipped me off that you'd be watching. He said, uh, I was supposed to keep you busy and I'll show you the sights. Is that it? Yes! Please. No. Oh, please, all I have to do is, like, direct me which way, and I'll find it. I'm busy. You are. Well, uh, so am I. Get you back to prison. Oh. 
Who are you? Bobby Six Killer, I'm a bounty hunter. I work with the gentleman you ditched in Morro Bay. So come on, let's go. Oh, oh, Vince, right? Vince, what, didn't he tell you that they were shooting at me? I mean, I, I had to run away because they were trying to kill me. Didn't he tell you that? Yes, I heard this sob story. Get in the Hummer. I can prove that Chief Turner robbed the factory because I think I know where he buried the money. I was gonna go get it now. Yeah, sure. Let's go! This is the only chance that I'm gonna be able to have to prove that I'm not lying. Oh, come on, come on, you have to help me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'll help you. I'll help you. Come on, let's go. Get in the car. <gasps> buried in the spillway. We're getting close. Yeah. I got her, man. Julie? Yes, sir. We're headed to the dam. Look for the cash from the robbery. OK, watch yourself. I'll meet you at the motel. Later. She's something. She'll be in a plastic bag. Woo! -hoo. Look at this. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Don't open it. I hate being right. Move. Move away from the money. Let me guess. Turner didn't know where you hid the money, did he? Turner told me to hide the money good, and I did. He's the last person on Earth I'd ever trust. Do you have any more questions for me? I got a question for you, just one. How are you going to shoot me with the safety on, huh? Nice try. I'm warning you. Go ahead, try it. Ow! You got to trust some men in your life, you know? My safety's off. Mike! Lighten your load, Bobby. Yeah. You OK, baby? Yeah. What are you doing here? I saw him grab you in town when he didn't go to the jail. I got worried. Threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the money. She's a liar. You got the money? Yeah. yeah. It's all still here. <laughs> Perfect. Now get over there with him. Mike? Things change, baby. Ain't it the truth? You know the drill, Mike. <laughs> Time me, partner. You said that you love me. God, here we go again. I'm not faking. I mean it this time because it is a lousy world when everybody starts lying about everything. The voice of experience. I don't lie about love because it's too cruel. A liar with a conscience. Why didn't you just put a gun to my head? Give me that. says on your pillow. You always hurt the one you love. 
Again, huh? Reno, didn't I tell you? I know, I know. You don't fish to fish. That's right. Ah, oh, I should have known the Sheriff Mike was scanning our phone calls. Yeah, well, I first stumbled onto it when I started thinking about who could have known to shoot at us in Morro Bay. I had to let Julie go free so she could lead him to the money. You got it. How about those two, huh? Sometime the job just ain't worth the bounty. That's weird. Did I just hear Bobby Sickfielder say sometimes the job ain't worth the bounty? Yeah. But keep it to yourself. Because I have a reputation to uphold. Hey, listen, I'm sorry if I kept you in the game past the whistle. Yeah, well, uh, this obsession you have with the truth sure is inconvenient. You're telling me. Not that I would change anything, understand? I mean, uh, that's what makes you who you are. I mean, you're always rooting for the underdog, always digging deeper for the truth so the truth doesn't get shortchanged. I especially think it's cool for a guy who's been shafted as many times as you have to still be committed to honesty. Yeah, well, hey, you know, looks like you caught your limit, partner. My people are natural fishermen. <laughs> well, what do you say, uh, we build a fire, cook these up? Good. But I caught them. You clean them. Wait a second. Mr. Natural Fisher. <clears throat> <clears throat> 